What's up everybody, my name's Chris and today we're going to be drawing the anterior view of the scapula from the right scapula. Uh, this is a posterior review from last week. Uh, I made a few changes to this drawing that I wanted to share real quick. The superior angle has changed, I raised that up a little bit. The coracoid process is at a different angle and the glenoid fossa. And that's it. So now I'm going to mirror this image so that I get a same view on the, um, the same outline I should say. Uh, on the anterior view that I have on the posterior view so that when you put the bones side by side it looks like the same bone and one's not like 10 times bigger. So first I'm going to do that one. We'll start with the scapular notch which uh, I didn't really like so we'll just go to the right of that. Go down, that's the inferior angle up to the glenoid fossa there. Now this video is running at 750% speed. I do not draw this fast so I'm just fast forwarding it so that you don't have to sit through the whole one hour video that I did uh, and, and I can press it down to six minutes for you. So now we're drawing the coracoid process. Do a little line there. Zoom in, looks a little funky. That's okay, we'll fix that later. Now we're gonna do the acromion. And then tip of there. It's of course where the clavicle connects. And I don't know if you caught that, but behind the scapular notch, um, you can see the spine, scapular spine in the back there. Now we're gonna do a little bit stronger outlining here. Put kind of a rim around the scapula. So the anterior view is a lot easier to remember than the posterior view. You got a little bit less sections. So this whole thing that looks like an ear, the center ear uh, that we're going to shade in right now, we're going to do some details. This whole center piece that looks like the inner workings of an ear is the subscapular fossa. It looks like a basically you could lay the thing down and use it to have a bowl of salad. I mean, it's just nothing to it. Just some emptiness in the middle there. So I'm trying to define that a little bit so you get a better idea because right now it just looks like a 2D drawing. So we'll add some details. Lots of details. Right below the glenoid fossa, which is to the left there, you can see the infraglenoid tubercle. It's a little tiny bump at the bottom there. I believe the triceps connects there. A little bit more detailing. So this whole area that looks like an ear is the subscapular fossa. Again, we're looking on the anterior view, the right, right shoulder. Now we're shading the bottom of the chromium process. Do, 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 do. Giving it a bone fill, put a little bone texture to it. When you're dealing with black and white, bone texture consists of thousands of dots. This video did take an hour, but I believe I have it compressed to just over six minutes. Which is better than the posterior view, which I think took 12 minutes. But of course that took an hour and a half to draw. Now we're doing the core cord process here. It's really kind of memorizing to watch it go in... Uh, 750% so speed. Just seeing how fast it gets drawn. Only that was the case in real life. Get a lot more accomplished. <laughs> so there's some more details. Alright, it's looking pretty good. The big elephant ear, the scapula.
Now we're at the inferior angle of the scapula. Just draw in a little bit more detail there. And the chromium just doesn't set right with me, so I'm going to go ahead and change it. And then I'm going to go ahead and change it again. <laughs> I still don't like it. All right, let's do some shading. So first we're going to shade in the elephant ear, <laughs> the subscapular fossa. Give it some depth, make it look a little deep. Shading underneath the chromium, more to the fossa. Darken the edges. That's a little bit too dark. So I'm going to erase the overshadowing first. shading. I'm going to add some texture, especially in the center here. You see a lot of dots pop up. Good. And we're going to put little dots. I'm going to decrease the intensity of the shading. This will make it not so bright, or so dark I should say. Pretty good. I always underestimate how long this video is. It's actually like seven minutes, not six minutes. Now I'm just adding some small details, minor dots everywhere. All right, looking pretty damn good. Just a little bit more lines there. It might be too much. Let me take that back. All right. I think I like it. All right, well, thank you for watching the video. Uh, just, I'm going to keep them coming. I uh, Click some of the links here. Watch some other videos on my channel. Or you can see the video from last week. Till next time, happy studying, my friends.